The whole purpose of accounting and the entire accounting cycle is to produce financial reports that help key stakeholders understand the business and make better business decisions. One of the most important pieces of information that a business owner or bank wants to know in a business is how much money the business is making. Calculating how much a business makes is very similar to calculating a personal budget. You start with the total amount of money a business earns and subtract from that the total amount of money a business spends. The amount of money a business earns from the sale of its products or services is called revenue. The amount of money a business spends in its efforts to generate revenue, in other words, its cost of doing business, is called expenses. So, in accounting terms, if you start with total revenue and subtract total expenses, you will know how much money a company makes for that period of time. The amount of money left over when expenses are subtracted from revenue is known as net income if the amount is positive and net loss if the amount is negative. Also, we have learned previously that everything in accounting fits into the accounting equation and there is no exception. Any net earnings from the company belong to the owners by default, so net income and the revenue and expenses that create it are considered part of owner's equity. Now that you understand the basics of net income, let's try an example. Let's pretend that Jill's bank wants to know how much her computer consulting company made last month. Looking at her records, Jill received $3,000 from her customers during the last month. She also spent $350 in advertising, $200 in supplies, and $1,000 in rent. The $3,000 that Jill received from her customers is revenue, since that's the money she earned. The total of all the money that Jill spent is her total expenses. $350 plus $200 plus $1,000 equals $1,550 worth of total expenses. So, if Jill wants to report her total net earnings, for last month, she would subtract the $1,550 of expenses from her $3,000 of revenue. That leaves her with $1,450. Now, is that net income or a net loss? It would be net income because it's a positive number. Jill still has money left over. If the number was negative, meaning she had more expenses than income, it would be a net loss. But most stakeholders don't just want the net income or net loss number. They usually want the details of the expenses and revenues that make up that number. We can provide them these numbers using a special financial report called an income statement. An income statement is a financial report that shows the revenue and expenses for a period of time. Sometimes this report is also called a profit and loss statement. Let's see what an income statement looks like on paper if Jill were creating an income statement for the example we just used. Using the information from our example, Jill's income statement would look something like this. In its simplest form, an income statement shows the revenues earned and where that money came from. Then it shows totals for each category of expenses. At the bottom, the expenses are totaled and net income or loss is calculated. An income statement is one of the easiest reports to create. The important thing to remember is that an income statement only reports revenue and expenses. Any other accounts are ignored. To learn more about financial statements and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.